folks, it's me Antonio Prime back here with another upgrade review. This time we're going to take a look at a Creon. It is Creon Galvatron from the first sort of Trial 6 that was released many cycles ago. This wave included the likes of Spinster and Scorponok. And uh, these guys are absolutely fantastic. They're awesome in every way. You know, looks, cuteness and mega cable for such a little bot. But... I absolutely love uh, collecting these and I'm glad they brought them out as individual blind bags. Uh, a few problems that we really have with them is these vests because you have a lovely detail underneath uh, and that's only sort of discarded by these quite generic vests that sort of came through and went on to sort of a uh, wave one uh, and I believe they're dismissing them now in wave two and just having like a, a hook around there so links the cable on the back but these little things are great and Galvatron is a definite must even if you're not a Galvatron fan look at him he's cute so we're going to look at the repo labels for this guy repo labels have been releasing some Creon uh, sticker sheets recently and as you can say I've, I've already put them on them uh, I do have another one which you're going to see in a GFA as of now and look he becomes even more cute. <laughs> now this guy, you can see instantly the big tra transformation from this one into this one. He has vest stickers on him there, and you can see a, quite a homage to the original Generation 1. Uh, Galvatron with his little red abs, his little belt, oh bless. Uh, his cannon is broken up definitely by this the, the whole orange with little grey sil silver stripe on there. Now his feet also get the treatment, and look at that. I absolutely love this, this is absolutely fantastic. It makes the figure, it makes this little crayon just look even more adorable. Now he does have a little Jinny Jin Jin sticker there, you can just see it, it gives a bit more attitude. And he looks like smug in his little helmet, yes. Uh, on the back you can see the, even the, the huge bumblebee bloody abdomen where his part of cannon is also gets to be labels treatment and we'll see that in just a moment so with the vests off you can see that the underbellies of the original Creon you can see with this one you know you just get the black sort of framework so that even still paying homage to the generation one but it's highlighted through the repo labels here and this is a sticker itself and it's, it, it is lovely and you still get the same on the vest as you can see there still identical now you don't get not on the back with the body but you do get on the vest and so that gives that ring circle bit where the kibble gets on but this is a lovely little thing and I'm glad you sort of expelled these from the future ge generations of the crayons because you know you, you do get some lovely detail on the wave one and stuff like that so let's try this guy in particle cannon so mode. in particle cannon mode you can see the back cable becomes a bit more apparent it's got a classic generation one homage to the galvatron's orange beamy sparkly cannon thing along with all the reaper labels still showing even behind you can get the round bit that was blocked by the kibble and obviously the cam the cannon bit on top but this is a fantastic little set, especially if you're into your crayons and you do want to, you do become a bit bland, especially with these little vests that they, they are now in wave two dismissing. So I would recommend definitely or highly to pick these repo labels up. Then very easily affordable, around the same as picking up one of these little crayon guys. So I'm Antronius Prime. Let me know what you think of this repo label set for your crayon Galvatron and. Thank you for watching.